My name is Sandy Brook. I'm an associate professor of art at Oregon State University in Bend, Oregon. I've taught art for 30 years, and um, I am a painter, and I have shown over the last 30 years. Uh, I can continue to work and show. I am here in South Dakota as a juror for the Altered Book Show. So um, we spent um, three or four hours I spent three or four hours going through every entry and looking very carefully at them and um, thinking about the conceptual level of it, the, the craftsmanship, the idea, the critical thinking involved, the creative thinking involved, uh, and they were all very important. And so some pieces were chosen because they were very elegant and very exquisitely made. Um, we had some pieces where the, the artist had rolled the paper and turned it into a sculpture, or they had folded them into sculpture, and they, they were quite spectacular. And then there were people who had, like, Leonardo's post office box. That's just an amazing concept, because it was Leonardo's diaries they used, and it sort of had the Joseph Cornell feeling of a collage inside the book and open, and it was very... I think that it will challenge people. Who come to the show? I think that artwork needs to challenge the viewer. I don't. I don't think it can just lay there and be inert. It's got to stand up and go, "Hey, you no, know, ask me what I'm doing." And so I like work that challenges, and I like work that has humor. I like sarcasm. I like irony. I like elegance. Um, I'm uh, there. You know, the, some of the pieces. Uh, one piece. That I'm thinking about uh, the artist rolled the book up, put it in a jar, and then elevated the top with another sculpture. I mean, the whole extensive building of the piece was spectacular, and, and you really respect that with with these. And, and when you're dealing with books, and there were books that were involved with other materials, wire, there were books that. Um, were involved with, there was a book that was turned into a woman's stiletto in gold. It was stunning. Um, there were uh, wrapped paper, rolled paper, shredded paper. Oh, and for humor, there was a book that had been imploded and wrapped in sort of a can-like shape, and it had a, a uh, I'm going to say, I'm sorry, it's a um, clamp around it, and the title was Developing language skills. Absolutely spectacular. In concept and in form, in presentation. It's just people will look at that and they will just be like, wow, what a great idea. What a great idea. And so for me, it was like I wanted to see the idea. I wanted to make sure that there was concept behind it. And then, of course, craftsmanship is always important, but there are levels of craftsmanship. Some people are very fine in the way they handle the materials. Other people a little funky, kind of crazy, you know, kind of loose and kitschy, and that's also appealing. I chose a variety of books across a spectrum, so they're not all elegantly rolled paper and sculpturally done. Some of them are very funny and kitschy and made with crazy materials. Others are made with very traditional materials. Some of them uh, almost become like uh, sculptures in wax, you know, which is like, wow, that's pretty amazing. I tried to think about the show as a whole, the work, each piece of work being equal to another in the show so that nobody would be less or more, that each piece would be valued for its own merit, and its, its own qualities. And uh, there's some very high quality work in the show. I think people are really going to enjoy it. I know I really enjoyed going through all the work um, for the last three hours, and it wasn't easy. It, it was not easy because there were a lot of decisions that sometimes I would check yes and sometimes no, and sometimes I'd like, well, I'm going to come back to this. So I think that the Juried International Show puts you in a bigger realm as an artist 
introduces you more widely to the community and introduces other artists into the community that we might not have seen or not had a chance to view or never would have known their work. And this work is very diverse. I think it's going to inspire students to be braver in their own work and to, to go forward and to take chances, which students, just, it's so scary out there, you know, it's oh, should I do this? But yeah, this work is going to say, well, so-and-so did this piece of work and they just risk it all out there and I think I could, I could probably follow that example. So internationally juried is a very good thing on so many levels for the artists, for the community, um, and, and it's just a, an excellent format to have. Very high quality.